Good morning, uh, good afternoon or evening, uh, whenever you get to receive this. Um, I really like your feedback on some ideas that I've been looking at with a couple of companies and obviously with my team and it's just a concept that um, we're looking at launching and developing. It predominantly comes from working and coaching and mentoring a lot of people of my age group that perhaps are having a bit of a tough time out there but I think it's relevant for all age groups in the working environment. Quite often there's a lot of focus just on the millennials at the moment but uh, I think this is, is very prominent for uh, perhaps a slightly more mature generation and um, it's called Future Proof. So let me start then. So Future Proof, Future Proof Yourself, what's it all about? Well we're all a commercial company, well we should think that way anyway. We sell our time, our skills, our expertise, um, our knowledge um, and obviously our great wisdom to our employer. And obviously in return we get uh, an exorbitant salary, uh, I guess I better take that bit out. Um, and obviously we receive other benefits. Um, we give up a lot of our personal time, sometimes our general health and well-being takes an impact as we work particularly long hours and uh, work in pressurised environments trying to hit our corporate objectives. Um, but all good commercial companies, they're very good at thinking ahead. They're very good at coming up with new ideas for their, their clients and customers with new innovations. They're very good at employing the right people with the right skills and the right attributes. Um, they're very good at investing in the right new technologies. And yeah, they're able to adapt and diversify as their markets change. The really good companies are, are one step ahead of the game. The really, really good companies are two steps ahead of the game with good strategic thinking and planning. So, as this, uh, us as individuals, do we do the same? Do we look after ourselves? Do we think about what our company is going to need from us in the future? Are we still going to be of value for money? Quite often people say, yeah, but I've got loads of experience. But is that experience still relevant? Now, in some industries of people I've been speaking to, they don't see this as an issue. Others do see it as a huge issue, so I'd be interested in your thoughts on if you feel this is an issue of people keeping up to date as uh, um, they go through their careers and mature obviously in age. So do we treat our, cust our, our, our employers as customers um, and think about what value we bring and yeah, how we're going to create longevity through the rest of our careers as perhaps we're having to work longer and longer. And I think this is going to be more apparent in the next few years. Plus also in turn, does it then enable us to um, be more employable and create long lasting careers doing things that we want to do? So we all need to look after ourselves and you know, are we going to be fit and strong enough to, to, to develop our, our skills and our careers? Because there's a lovely saying that I always use is that if you don't look after yourself, who's going to do it for you? Um, so, welcome to Future Proof Yourself. Now, I've attached a document um, to this email and it's also got some key focus areas that I'd also like some feedback on. Do you think they're the key focus areas that we need to develop in our careers? And um, have a, please have a read of the document and if you can give me some feedback on this concept, really, really like to hear from you. So thank you very much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, hopefully catch up and speak to you soon. Take care. Thanks.